park has been closed every time we've come by. Why do you suppose that is, Professor? Hmm, I haven't the foggiest idea. Perhaps we should ask someone at the town hall. Okay, to the town hall. In chapter 7, start. That was a really quick uh, chapter. What's that you say? The gate to the park is locked shut? No, 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 that's impossible. We've employed a caretaker who should have everything up and running. Yeah, boy! Thank you so much for the sub. That Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Karina. I appreciate the support. Nine months! We have a baby. We have a subscriber baby. A child. <laughs> Be that as it may, the gate is locked shut, and we can't gain entrance to the place. Would you please open for us? That sort of thing is the job for the park caretaker. I strongly advise you go find him. Well, where do you think we might find this caretaker? Hmm, now that's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> Managing the park is the caretaker's duty. But who knows who manages the caretaker? I can't say, it's not one of my duties. What a bureaucracy! He manages the town sewer systems as well. Now, unless you have some form you need to fill out, I strongly advise you to beat it. Who watches the watchman? <laughs> Gosh, he's rude. The sewers, unpleasant as it may be, it is one place we haven't searched yet. Ooh, we going down in the depths. Perhaps we will find a clue to our mystery down there. I've only seen one manhole in town. All oh, right. It's the one on the path to the park. Well, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Let's go down into the sewers. Off we go. We're gonna go see the Rat King. Just kidding. Into the sewers! Oh, I love this guy. This guy's in every game. Excuse me, but are you by any chance the park caretaker? Um, no. I am an explorer of El Mundo. Right now, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the local culture. Oh, um, well please pardon my mistake then. Have a pleasant day, sir. Oh, wait for a moment though. So vous pla. Wait. He speaks Spanish and then he speaks. Is that French? S'il vous plaît? What's s'il vous plaît? S'il vous plaît is please? That's, that's a Hooray! lot of words for please. That's so many words for please. I just saw a man. I just saw a man in work clothes pass here. Could he be the caretaker you seek? He could be. Which way did he go? Probably to the right. Pero, maybe it was the left. Why are you speaking Spanish and French? <laughs> I see. Are you feeling all right? You seem a bit directionally challenged for being an explorer. I just arrived here after years of world travel. Je ne sais pas the local geography here. That's all. What's je ne sais pas? Je ne sais pas? I don't know French. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the local geography here. Okay. Thank you. We have someone that speaks French in the chat. <laughs> I see. In that case, please forgive me for making another assumption. Now please excuse us, as we need to get going. Wait! Which way to the Vilago? Villagio. Donde esta the train station? He really likes to mix Spanish and French. You're French? Oh, okay. Like French from France or French Canadian? Uh, I guess let's go to the right first. 
Oh, look at this guy. French from France, nice. Oh, there. Now what can I do you fellows for? You're the park caretaker, are you not? Would you mind opening the gate to the park for us? Well, how could I refuse two curious lads such as yourself? Well, I'd like to open it for you, but I've got to finish this repair job here before I do anything. Is there anything we can do to help then? Funny you should mention that. If you could just figure out the area on this map, I'd be done in a jiff. You any good with things like that? Alright, we got a puzzle, guys. Squares and circles. Sylvain? 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 Is that how you say his name? Brought you this diagram to see if you can help with it. With it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram below. How many times larger is the area of the blue square when compared to that of the red square? Is the square in here, when there's another square outside the circle, is that double the space? So it'd be four, right? Actually. So this is times two. And then this would be times two of that. So it would be four times. Right? Thank you conf confirming. <laughs> I don't want to lose any more pick carrots. If you rotate the middle square 45 degrees as shown in the picture above, the answer becomes apparent. It does, does it? Oh, I was just going by inside circle, outside circle. <laughs> I solved it a different way. Fine work to both of you. Soon as I take care of this busted main, I'll open the gate for you. Cool. There, that ought to take care of the mess. Now let's open up the park, eh? Ooh, I got a painting scrap. Ooh. We're going to the park. I'm gonna go back down the sewer though. I didn't explore it very much. Mm. Yes, sir, we're in. Thank you. Mm. You've been a great help, caretaker. Mm. Oh no, I got hiccups. Hydrate, I will. Mm. Why are you over here? Was loud. <clears throat> well, don't you look surprised. I bet you didn't expect to see me in a place like this, eh?
<sighs> Hold your breath for a minute. Yeah, that's usually how I do it. Okay, so... The only hidden boxes are one right here. And we have to move this box. And actually the one underneath it is hidden too. And then this box is hidden. That's three boxes hidden. The rest can be seen from all sides. So... We move this box in this box. And this box, I think you have to move three boxes. Oh, how many boxes can't be labeled without rearranging? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so we got one underneath here. We got two underneath here. Everything can be seen on that side. Everything can be seen on this side. I think it's just three. Yeah, I think three. Luke, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Moving down from the top level, you have one, four, six, and nine boxes. The only boxes you can't access without rearranging things are the three indicated in the picture. Well done. I like the way you get all fired up over puzzles. You're my kind of guy. So hurry up and get settled already. St. Mysterious, happy to have you. Okay, so that's... that's... Anything here? Certainly didn't foresee sewers leading to a place like this. Look, Luke, there's my automobile. Weekend getaway. You and your girlfriend went on a road trip over the weekend. On the way to your destination, you drove 180 miles, and your girlfriend drove the rest of the way. Coming home on the exact same roads, your girlfriend drove the first 150 miles, and then... You got behind the wheel for the last leg of the journey. What is the difference in miles between the distance you drove and the distance your girlfriend drove? All right, hypothetically, let's say it's 200 miles. She drove 20, and then you drove 50. So the difference is 120, the difference is 130. No, wait, that's 130. Difference in miles between the distance you drove and the distance your girlfriend drove. Oh, so... He drove... 170. And you drove... 230. 230 minus 170 would be 60. Would it always be 60 miles? Is this being a difference of 30 times by 2? Is that like the formula for it? Let's say it's 300. That'll be... 
150 and 120. So add that is 270 being subtracted by 3 30 and that still equals 60. Oh well, yeah, it's got to be 60 because it works with two different numbers. So it must just be the 30 times 2. That's all right. I I ignore chat until like I give up. Fossil. I'm gonna say Layton wants the fossil. I don't feel like I'm getting money, Luca. Double checking for hints. There's a great view of the entrance to the village from here. Here's my lovely little mobile. It seems unharmed. Don't worry, Professor. No one would even dream of stealing that late mobile. What do you mean by that, Luke? Rude. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of these sewers. And get to the park. This park is really kind of sad, isn't it? It's all rusty and abandoned. It's just as Sylvan said. It seems that no one's set foot in this park for a dreadfully long time. Now, on to business. Let's give the grounds another the grounds around the Ferris wheel once over. I expect we'll find something of interest there. Hidden puzzle. Oh my. What is it, Professor? Look at this poster, the picture. It appears to be the same as the one on the ticket we picked up. It looks like it's been posted here for ages. It's so faded. You can't even read the letters. Oh! Hey, isn't that... Yes, I thought so. That's little Flora there in the middle of the picture, isn't it? She looks exactly as she does in the portrait we saw of her in Reinhold Manor. It would seem that Baron Reinhold built this amusement park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter. Strange, I wonder why it wasn't more popular with the village folk, once it was open to the public. Well, I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. Right you are, Professor. Any more hint coins? No? Okay. Let's go this way. This place is so run down, it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. What a shame. I bet it used to be a fun place. There's even a big tent like the kind you see at circuses. Yes, there is something quite sad about it, isn't there? How strange. This was clearly a traveling carvin carnival. So why was it left to rot here in St. Mysterie? Bet the Ferris wheel's a mess too. I suppose we won't get use get to use that ride ticket we picked up. Well, we have better things to do than ride that thing, don't we? <laughs> Somewhere in this park hides a clue to finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. Looking for hidden coins or hidden puzzles. Okay. This must be the Ferris wheel we're looking for. 
Luke, why don't you look around and see if anything seems odd about it? Sure thing, Professor. Hmm. Hmm. Did you find anything out of the ordinary, Luke? No, not a thing. Maybe there's no secret hidden in this Ferris wheel after all. That remains to be seen. Let's look around a bit more, shall we? Though I can't put my finger on it, there's something quite odd about this Ferris wheel. It makes me wonder if we might have to overlook something important around the book, the park. That reminds me, Luke. Have you heard of this wonderful puzzle about the Ferris wheel? Puzzle time! Number 87, Ferris wheel riddle. There are 10 two-seater cars attached to the Ferris Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel turns so that one car rotates through the exit platform every minute. The wheel began operation at 10 in the morning and shut down 30 minutes later. What's the maximum number of people that could have taken a ride in the wheel in that time period? So, 20 people can be on at once. We got 30 minutes. So it will go full circle. Every single minute. So is it just 30 times 20? 60? Well, actually, that'll only be if. All right, so after one go ahead, that's one minute for this guy. That's one or two. And then 28 of them haven't gone through yet. In the next minute, that's four people and the 28 has gone through so is there some subtraction that I should do is it 30 times 20 minus 18 So 42? That's what I'm thinking. Because once the first guy goes through, those 28 people haven't gone through yet. So you have to wait for this last car to go through. Actually, this will be the last car. I'm gonna try 42, and if it's not, we'll figure something out. Well, here's my day. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Yes. I did the correct math. Bam. Yeah, we did get another one. Excellent job, my boy. We should take another quick look around the area to make sure we haven't missed an important clue. Yes, another painting scrap. We should we should look at the painting soon. We look for hidden things first. Okay. Well let's go this way. We haven't gone this way yet. Look, Professor, there's a strange little shed here. Interesting. It seems the shed roots water to the sewer pipes. 
I feel this warrants a closer look. Hmm. It doesn't appear that the door will open. Let's move on and explore the rest of the park route. Okay, I'm moving on. Oh, it's this guy again. Maybe he can um unlock that shed. Look, Professor, there's a hidden puzzle here. The largest total. Nine squares are carved into a piece of wood. Arrange nine unique numbers between 1 and 51 so that any three numbers have the same sum when added vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. While several combinations are possible, your task is to find the number that occupies the center square when you arrange the number to yield the highest possible total. Oh boy. Alright. Let's just start with 10 for right now, in the middle. So let's say 31. And... No, it can't be. Mm, let's do 21. And 20. Let's do 40. And 11. It's 21 and 11. 32. Would be 19 here. Nineteen and ten is twenty-nine. Well, actually, that already doesn't work because of those. Okay. Let's try five. Twenty-five. Maybe it needs to be a higher number. Let's try fifteen. Do 25, 11, do 13, That's not right. Try 14. And that can be 22. It's 22 and 25. 47. So this would have to be 4. That makes this only 20 or only 19. So minus 19 is 32. 32, 46, might be too high. When you want 51 in the middle? No, because... It has to be three numbers that have the same sum. So like here has to equal 51. Here has to equal 51. Here has to equal 51. These all have to equal 51. If I put 51 in the center, they'd all just be zero.
It doesn't tell you what number they equal. Range nine unique unique numbers between one and fifty one, so that any three numbers have the same sum when added for oh. Okay, but it has to be unique numbers, so I can't just have zeros everywhere. Oh, that's true. Well, I want to equal it to, let's say, 3. So yeah, I guess 51 would work. Well, I don't want to count that high. <laughs> Lower numbers mean less math. <laughs> Okay. I messed up on the wording there. <laughs> I thought they had to add up to 51. That's my bad. Ooh, here's a piece of paper. Look at this, Professor. It was lying on the ground. It appears to be a scrap of note paper. Would you read it aloud for me? Sure thing, Professor. All right, let's see. The older she gets, the more young Miss is catching on to this village's secret. She seems lonely, which is probably why the boss asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yep, it certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. The young miss mentioned here must be Flora. The whole park was built just for her. But I don't understand this other line. What's all this business about a secret in the village? I just wasn't ready to handle the boss's death. Poor young miss. She's all alone in the world now. But no matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. Hey, Jen's there. Baron Reinhold sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than anything. Fates can be so cruel. Alright, you, can you unlock that shed? Oh, you lads again, eh? How do you like me park? Lovely, isn't it? The sun's shining bright today and I'm in fine spirits. Why not celebrate this weather with a puzzle? Let me tell you one of my favorites. Number 88. A tennis ball has rolled its way into a hole. This particular hole is extremely deep and has a sharp bend in the middle, making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. To make it worse, matters worse, the ground around the hole is made of hard clay. So digging the ball out isn't an option. However, if you have something incredibly commonplace on hand that you can use to to get the ball out, what do you use to get the ball out? Answer in five letters. Five letters 
to get this ball. Something incredibly commonplace. Have to be something with like a hook. You're clever, Laz. Can't forget about buoyancy. Aha, you're quite the solver, aren't you? Oh yes, getting back to me, Park. It hasn't been properly maintained, and parts are just rotting away. If something looks old and broken, do the smart thing, lads, and stay away from it. Violin. I don't think Luke plays instruments. Oh, another thing for Leighton? I'll check it after. No, oh, you're not gonna help me get in? I don't see anything on the ground. So in the end, that ticket we picked up turned out to be meaningless? So it seems. I suppose my intuition failed us this time, Luke. Come, let's head back to the heart of the Saint Mysterie and search for our next lead. Oh, cutscene! That's preposterous. <laughs> I love the cutscenes. What? Why would the Ferris wheel? Professor, look what happened to the shed. Means we can go in. The Ferris wheel must have simply destroyed it. If we made a wrong step back there, we'd be rubble too. Oh my. Hmm. I think we found something here, Professor. What could that be? Now, what's an entrance to the sewers doing here? This could well be an underground passage to the tower. We've got to take a look below. Come. I'm right behind you, Professor. Let's go down into the sewers. 